So shout out a few words which describe these businesses in a few years' time, which would make them have some value that someone else would want to buy them, or that they'd have some residual value to you. I know why this seat's here now. Far away. Cash, yeah. Management. Sorry, say that again? Train management. Train management, yeah. Systems? Systems, yeah. Reputation. Hopefully good. <laughs> I'd like to sell you some bad reputation. <laughs> hmm? Maybe recurring revenues. As opposed to the yeah. Not revenues, revenues. Yep. Intellectual property. Sorry? Intellectual property. Yep. So they have real property to go with the intellectual property. <laughs> Expanding versus non-expanding. I think some people would want to buy a business that wasn't expanding too fast, and other people would want to buy one that was expanding that way. Okay, yep. Concept that could be franchised. Yes. Well, non-existent because that's a reality for some of the people around here including myself the business will not be there yep so it just disappears yeah. just like John and when yep I'm sorry, ashes. <laughs> testing my ability to type here and think oh it's even worse isn't it anyway you know what I mean we'll tidy up that later some more words anyone else got any big things Um, Passive, Passive. Passive, yeah. Let's go back. Staff, profits. Um, that was the other one that came to mind, was it? Ongoing demands. <laughs> All right, so lots of things would go into making that business valuable. And do I want to do this? I think I do. There are some others I thought of earlier. If I can find the right button, it's disappeared. get to having one of these things. So could we put some measure on one of those items and then work backwards from it? Very good on expanding, I guess. Sort of percentage per, per annum. Perhaps. Do do much? Perhaps. Let's do expanding. Just leave that up there for a moment. Right, this is an idea. For my, let's get there. Right. Let's just think about this. I've got some ideas about my business. Um, 
So at the moment that I leave my business, there's going to be a managing director there, a marketing director, a finance director, maybe some other people. Will the managing director be me, or will it be someone else? No. Let's say we needed a marketing, marketing director. You could work back from there. You, they've got to accept your offer. You've got to make them an offer. They've got to be interviewed. You've got to attract them. What's going to attract them? An attractive business. You know, a job spec, advertise. Your network may have attracted them. Your company may have some value. Lots of people start from the left-hand side. They don't start from the right-hand side. They don't start with where they want to be at the end. The more tangible sort of thing to understand is perhaps profit. Let's say I want the net profit to be £200,000. To do that, I might need a turnover of £2 million. I might need to sell software licenses. But to get 500k out of software licenses, can you see the small print? Shall I make that bigger? I need to sell 12,500 licenses in that year. Well, at the moment, I sell about uh, 200. So can I really just believe that I'm going to get that much money out of selling licenses? Only if I've got a good e-commerce site, and it's on a good website, and it's ranked very highly, and people are going there. I sell training for the software. So if I'm going to turn over half a million pounds worth of training, I'm going to need to have trained 2,500 people. I can't do that all myself. So I'm going to have to have 10 licensed trainers to do that. If I'm going to sell services, one of the ones I've got at the moment is called After the Event, where I go to big corporate events and record what's been going on. I'd have to go to 50 events in a year with eight reporters to record them. Maps for you. I'd have to do 200 maps for other people's businesses at £500 a time. How am I going to do that? Well, I'd probably have to have a few designers working for me as well. If I get involved with people at early stages in managing projects, I'd have to do 20 projects and so on. But others, i.e. what I won't have, covered by all the rest of the income I've identified, is 540 k So I've said, I'm going to turn over 2 million, but even with this model I've got there at the moment, I'm still half a million short. Where is it all going to come from? So think about your business in a few years' time. Take one of its parameters and just work backwards from there and see what you would have to do to build up to it. Five minutes. You could take just one business that's on your table and discuss it. If someone's got an idea about where they want to be in five years' time. And then start working back from that point. Not from here to there, from that point backwards.